a helicopter just buzzed our house and TP'd us. There's uh, a few of these little TP things around. Dude, next time at least use two ply. Good lord, this is like sandpaper. The uh, the owner of the 76 Ford and the Ranger that's in the shop is a helicopter pilot. And his brother actually owns this place and we rent it. And he was spraying fields today with the helicopter and I guess he decided to leave us a little gift. So we'll have to see how we can get him back. Look, I fixed it. Hello. Came back for more. <laughs> These boys over at Circle P should be better about TP in somebody's house. I mean, crap, they wrote their name all over it. Of course I know who did it now. And we're back. So it's been a crazy couple of weeks. I didn't really film much. I was in a mad dash to get the six by six and the trailer ready to go last week we went up to my in-laws and we were planning to do a bunch of cow work and all kinds of fencing and repair and all kinds of stuff so i got everything ready we got up there it rained all week we weren't able to do anything so it was totally a waste of time but now my six by six is good to go it's got new chains carburetor rebuilt everything's good on it and the trailer dialed and we're gonna get some stuff done this week so First thing I'm going to do is just clean out some of the carnage from my craziness. Now, I fixed that four-wheeler last week. Started working on this one. It may have some bigger issues. Anyway, get this cleaned up. And then we're going to get the 76 Ford pulled back inside. Get that other cylinder head built. Get the engine built and throw it in. And hopefully we'll have her chooching down the road here pretty soon. actually see the floor and the workbench uh, I'm gonna get started throwing this cylinder head together and we can start building this engine again I just got word that one of my old college buddies is in the area so he's going to swing by here shortly and uh, check out the shop and check out the area and you guys will get to meet uh, Mr. America stay tuned for that anyway we've got this one cylinder head built uh, I'm gonna flip over Get this one out of the way, and I'll start throwing the valves in that one. And we'll be cooking with grease when we can get these heads installed. There's nothing light about a Ford FE engine, I'll tell you that. Good, I have all my keepers. Apparently, I did a good job keepering them. <laughs> So how goes the battle? Oh, it's just a quick little hour drive over here from Helena. Nice. Got my buddy Corey and Duncan out there looking at the Corvette and the Bronco. Just got this thing to the point where I'm gonna paint this half and then we'll flip it over and tape off some more and paint the other side. Duncan showed up with his brand new Bronco, so we checked that out. And now we've got Mr. America, I mean Corey with his mullet and his heat waves in the, uh, the 76 and my 6x6 hopefully and we're going to drag this thing back into the shop so we can put it together this is about typical for me Speed, slam it. Yeah. 
All right, well, there was nothing wrong with that. So, uh, yeah, I just almost went over the handlebars. So it's fine. Now, uh, now, Corey ran over the rope, so he's buying Gatorade. But uh, now we just got to try and push this in. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Letting the turbo talk. Oh, we had to take Duncan's rig out for a test ride, so we came on this road behind the house and found this nice little creek and bridge and got a little new Bronco photo shoot going on. You know, all the normal things. I'll send you one later. So we just kept driving and came across this reservoir and, uh, I had no idea this was back here. This is just behind my house. So pretty excited to bring the kayaks and try and catch some of the fish that keep jumping in that reservoir. What a deal. Well, that was fun. We went and, went and did a little hanging out with some friends, went and explored a road that's been closed for a long time they recently opened it and found a little reservoir to go fishing on but uh back to the important things in life which is getting this engine back up and going so if i can ever get the bag off there she is she's beautiful and i think she's ready to be put back in i'm leaving the intake off for right now because it's much easier to get to these bell housing bolts with it um, off I'm ready to pick this thing up, get the clutch put back on it, get it stabbed in. But first, well, since we're not really able to use anything other than a couple bolts off of this engine, uh, I have my buddy Skid Steer here right now. I got to get it back. But before I take it back, I just wanted to take this thing. I'm going to throw it out back. I'll get the other valve cover, get them put on, cover up the carburetor, just kind of weatherproof it. And it'll just sit out back until who knows when I might need uh, either some parts or this engine. So, yeah, that's where we're at. dropped up we branded a couple cows and I was just headed home and I see the old Corvette in town so. it's finally time to put the engine back in the old Ford let's get at it the engine stand and we've got an engine installed so we're cooking right along 
Uh, it's been way too long of a project, just waiting on parts and having problems with different things, but it's time to get this thing out of here. Uh, I've had a pretty much a big whirlwind for the past um, month or so between getting ready to go up to my in-laws for a week, getting the side-by-side -side and the trailer ready, and then going up there. did a little bit of work while I was up there, but it rained a lot. Came back, did some work on some four-wheelers, side-by-sides, pickups, you name it, basically, I worked on it. Um, but finally, I'm kind of caught up on some of the little stuff or waiting parts. And now we're gonna jump back, get this thing fully assembled. So this is the end of the video. Uh, in the next one, I will get everything else finished up on this and we'll get it running. So thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.